What up out there all you cloud checkers, today we're back with just a short sweet little video for you, all you IPv3 users out there. I get questions all the time regarding the chargers. How am I charging it? Where are you getting your chargers from? Well I picked mine up on eBay for 5 bucks and I thought I would share with everyone where to get a cheap wall charger for your IPv3. The mistake most people make here is they buy a wall charger with the wrong size plug. This is the guy I picked up here. If you look at the plug on the end there, that is the dimension is 1.35 millimeters diameter. That's what you need. Everybody goes over and gets a three and a half mil because that's the more common size. And of course it's not gonna fit as twice the size. So I picked this guy up. It was listed as a two amp, but it's actually a 1.5 amp, 1500 milliamp, nine volt charger. There is a P4U board in here that uh, actually takes care of the charging. Some people are concerned they don't like charging their batteries that way. It's all up to you. Personally, the first couple times that I did this, I monitored it with a multimeter and double checked everything and it has been absolutely perfect. I've been charging it this way now for several months and I've had not a single issue. The batteries are still perfect. They are balanced. I can't, I got nothing bad to say. So let's get into it. Well, if you're going to charge batteries this way, there's a couple things you need to know. And this is kind of why some people are scared about it. And I can see why. You need to buy a set of batteries, brand new, or either have a married set of batteries to put in here or in the IPv3. You can't mix and match batteries. You got to be exactly the same, same cycle count, same brand same age, same voltage, same everything when you put them in there. This way the IPv drains them evenly, when instead you plug them in and it charges them evenly. If the battery's voltages or the two batteries are out of whack at all, it will not charge evenly. And this is where you get into potentially dangerous situations. If the battery, say one battery's at 3.8 volts and one battery's at 3.2 volts, well it doesn't know the difference it's going to split that and it's going to say that it's at 3.5. Now the one battery that's at 3.8 is going to get overcharged compared to the other one, right? So you risk fire, explosion, damage, that sort of thing. As long as the batteries are married at the same voltage, you'll have no problem. Stick with a high drain battery, some quality. I Personally, I use the VTC4s in here. But any high drain 30 amp battery will work just fine. So you can check the description. Uh, I'll throw the links in there where you can pick up this guy. It's about five bucks. I know the Pioneer for you authentic one is like $30. It's crazy. And there's no difference. The requirement is a one to two amp charger. That's it. That's all it requires. Just get the right plug size and you're laughing. So that's it guys. Short and sweet to the point. I just wanted to get this out there for those looking for a charger for their device. I love my IPv3. This thing is in my pocket every day since I've got it. It has been through hell. I've dropped it more times than I can count on both my hands. And it's been through it like, holy man, I had to dremel it down and stuff because the corners were so smashed in. Like it took a 10-foot fall right on edge onto concrete. And it's been through a few of those, to be honest. And it never misses a beat. You pick it up and it's just, it's fine. So I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. You buy a quality device and it will last you. You know, it's got a bit of a warranty with it, you know, but at the same time, I don't want to have to use the warranty. I want to buy something that's quality that's going to last. So that's it. Thanks again for watching, guys. we got lots more to come. Anything you want to see, get at me. Let me know. I'll get it done for you. So keep calm. Vape on. We'll see you again soon, guys.